So on this album, there are the Concerto de Aranjuez by Joaquin Rodrigo and uh, Albanese Concerto by Stephen Goss and uh, based on Isaac Albanese music. And also um, there is Evocation Dance by solo piece by Rodrigo and Sweet Espana by Albanese on the solo guitar. When we were talking about the concerto album idea, uh, I, we were thinking that uh, um, except for recording some well-known concerto, we should bring something new because the guitar concerto repertoire is relatively smaller. So yeah, very uh, fortunately, yeah, I'm very supporting this idea. So they commissioned a uh, concerto by British composer Stephen Goss. be great to write this kind of imagined Albanese concerto, completely in his style, like a big romantic concerto. I mean, the guitar has many concertos, but there's a big gap between 1830, uh, when we have it at the end of Giuliani's concertos, and 1939, 1940, when we have the Aranuith concerto. So the chance to get to write something sort of truly romantic in the middle was, was really exciting. <laughs> with her it just really understand sound and, and, and heritage of guitar but more she's making up with guitar with music and that's I think is very very um, impressive and she understand and, and emotions of guitar emotions of music and go through her really delicate finger into, into great doesn't have to play loud and splashy uh, playing just really, really nice and delicate, and and some passionate passage she put in her uh, into the instrument. This album is very special for me for many reasons. 
uh, for I met Rodrigo myself when I was 14, and that was uh, such a privilege and such a historical moment. So I feel more emotionally closer to him, and also afterwards I, I, I have read his books and his wife's books, um, very moved by his life and their, their stories, so I feel emotionally very strong about this piece, and especially the slow movement, I feel I own it. Two years ago, I played with the Barcelona Symphony Orchestra in this hall. So, and that, that was a very um, exciting, very happy experience. So, and that uh, uh, led to this recording. So, I'm so happy to come back to work with them. It's such a pleasure to work with Maestro Oi. You know, I'm, I'm from Asia, he's from Asia too. But uh, more importantly, he worked in Spain for so many years and he understands Spanish music so well. 